Jewelry making is an ancient and noble profession steeped in tradition and mysticism. From prehistoric relics or the treasures of the pharaohs to the crown jewels and modern engagement rings, jewelry has captured the imagination of countless numbers throughout the ages. In modern times, the process begins with a much newer approach to manufacture, 3D modeling. Using a 3D model of the ring allows for high levels of reproducibility, unlike some of the designs of yesteryear that were confined to two-dimensional drawings or even simply the mind of the jeweler. The 3D model is fed to a CNC, or Computer Numerical Controlled Milling Machine. The CNC milling process quickly translates the conceptual model into a working first draft of the final ring. This wax model is easily carved out by the machine and makes up the first step in a process called investment casting. The ease of milling the design into wax combines with the quick reproducibility to allow for a great deal of flexibility in production, often called lean manufacture. The investment is a plaster mold formed around the wax model and is used to shape the precious metals into the intricate designs used for the ring. The wax model is held up on a wax pedestal in the metal tube to form the mold. The hardness of the investment materials preserves the fine details of the model and is well able to withstand the high heat of casting. Here the investment is poured around the milled wax model, the flow is controlled to help avoid defects. In addition, a vibrator below the form for the mold eliminates bubbles in order to remove voids that would cause deformities in the casting. The piece of raw material you see here is called a button and is made of a 14 karat white gold. With the mold prepared, the modern jeweler melts out the wax to expose the mold. Here he is polishing the raw material to remove oxidation or other impurities on the surface. Next, at the centrifuge, it is time to melt the metal in a crucible and cast the metal into the mold. The mold is put in position and after one last heating, the centrifuge is released. The rapid rotation forces the molten metal into the mold and fills in all the little details of the mold. The ring is removed from the mold by putting the entire investment in water. The investment plaster dissolves and the ring can be taken out without any damage to delicate parts or shapes. is now ready for the final stages of shaping and finishing. The ring is cut from its stand and filed into its rough shape. It is then ground and sanded to just about its final dimensions. The shaping is followed by polishing and buffing the final surfaces both inside and out. Polishing gives the surfaces the requisite smoothness and prepares them for buffing which gives the ring its final high luster. Finally, it's off to the showroom floor to dazzle and delight.